All right, so we got to do one run, and it's got to be a quick run. So let's go fast. Let's go real fast. I'm going to go with him. He is by and far just better than everything else, so it doesn't... Like... The issue with the Awoken is they don't scale well. Because the problem is... The Hellhorn have armor. I'm not down with those. Spikes don't scale well. Right, push-ups. I'll, I'll do them around pizza. Uh, that's interesting. I could work with that. Because the ensnares are free draw and screwing with enemies. Multi-strike, rage 5, or... Let's go for the... We need the slay damage bonus. Let's go split anvil. Split anvil is real good. So we'll figure this out. So. I think I can make it work. It'll be dicey for the first, like, bit. And we'll be good, good to go. But yeah, spikes don't scale well alone. Spikes are usually accompanied with regen, making you an immortal thorn wall. Except for regen doesn't even scale that well. There's only a couple of regen things, and they scale very slowly. Oh. Unless I'm mistaken, if I put him down, we just die. Alright, well that's... This blows a little. I was really hoping I'd start with one of my uh, one of my dudes. Oh, there they are. This is awkward. Yeah, I kind of needed my champion. I'll make it work, ish. Well, I guess we'll just get a fledgling imp down, heal him. This is bad. Oh my god. And not having that one freaking train steward is going to really put me in a bad place. I don't even know how to feel about this. Okay. I'm gonna lock him back. Torch that guy. Put him there. Heal him a bit. Hit him. Not pretty. Probably should have actually, uh, killed both of them in retrospect. Shh. Ensnare, what else do we have? Got another train guy, but it's not going to do me anything. Alright. Yeah, this went poorly. You need to get that champion down, but I just did not have the... Well, this is a fortuitous start. Oh, it's fine. We don't actually care about score. Uh, yeah, I'll go for the Rage Serum. That one's always good. Do you want Glimmer or Steel Enhancer? I pretty much always want Steel Enhancer. But yeah, I the issue is, from what I've experienced, Regen does not scale well. Most enemies either hit too hard to make it worth it, or the Regen items are too expensive to be good. Give me an armor, boy. Uh... That's not an armor boy. But I will take him in a heartbeat. Uh, let's see. Do I make steel enhancer cheaper? Yeah, we need armor. 
bad. So I'm going to just enhance that and let's start purging the torches. Okay, yeah, OP Steel Enhancer. I've only ever managed to pull that off once. It's really difficult to actually do a uh, Steel Enhancer. Uh, let's see, and no. This situation is a terrible idea. Anyway, uh, the issue with regen is you only have a couple of things to give you, and you get like three regen per, but that actually only means two plus maintain. You can't keep scaling the regen up. And the same thing with spikes is that, like, most of the cards that give you spikes give you one spike or two spike. The only reason why spikes are generally good is if you have those totems that increase spike damage. Plus a couple of relics, which, don't get me wrong, is actually very good. Okay, gotta put him here. If they're going to be fast-tracked to the top... We need to be ready for that. Okay. I'm just going to have her do the fast track. And then we'll just get the fledgling. I guess we don't have a whole lot of rage generation here. Which is a bit of an issue. Well, it's fine. This is why you do need multi-hit, though. At least we get some damage. I think we'll be okay. But yeah, in comparison, stuff like armor has a bunch of cards that, like, double your armor. And you can constantly ca kind of keep scaling armor. Not forever, but it's for a considerable amount of time. And that gets really strong really fast. And so I've always found myself just a little bit meh about thorns in comparison, just because, yeah, it, it's just not as good. Problem is, he's not actually netting kills. That's fine, he's strong enough. Snare the boss, towards the boss. We're good. If we can get the multi-hit, we're golden. We just needed to have some more things to hit early. And we're fine. Let's see, we could ascend a unit. That gives me some options. I don't really... No, I'm going to just skip those. I really need those armor boys. Ah, I'm just going to be sitting here being like, I need, I want, I need to roll with the punches. Uh, punches just keep coming. Uh, let's see. Do we want to dupe a dang thing? Or do we want to go for an artifact? Artifact probably makes more sense, given the situation. Uh, ooh. Yeah, let's go for the horde. Let's see what we get. I gotta double check. So he doesn't count as a demon. He does. That's tough. So you know you can torture your own names. Yeah, I'm quite aware on that one. Which makes the ashes almost worth, kinda. Yeah, let's go for that. Because I'm not planning on having a whole lot of imps here. Gain double stack. <laughs> I have no armor, and that seems like a terrible idea. Let's see, he might be counted as both. Nah, he doesn't. I, I've had it before, and I was actually really curious about it. 
because he didn't have the multi-strike and I was very confused. Half the blacksmith huddles near the train. She's clearly unaccustomed to the cold. I trust rail's been smooth. Well, as smooth as it can be in times like these. Uh, right. Well, I found something of use. A couple of relics left behind by my father. So I wasn't sure when you could, you'd come by the fort. So I checked out to this damned cold to find you. I don't have room for them both, but I figure you may be able to, you may you may have need for one. Hell, I might even be able to upgrade it later if it suits you. So, do you want one of these? It's extinguished. Triggers. like either of these. She said she could upgrade them later, though. I'm gonna grab the rail driver. I think that invention, but if my old man made it, it's sure to work better than my junk, uh, any junk you get from the Crucible. And if you can get a few more of them, four will do. I'll make it worth your while. What? Four more? What? How you get four more of them? Unless I ha have to use. Uh, All right, whatever. We'll figure it out. I have no idea how I get more, unless I just have to use it a couple of times, and then it sits in my deck. At which point, that'd be scary. I guess I ha I'd have to dupe it to really make it worth, which is kind of butts. All right. I'll just put the steward in front. I know it multiplies in your deck on use, but that stuff, that sort of thing usually resets. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to plonk these guys here so they die. Because I don't want them floating around. They're gonna, uh, gosh, deck bloat is, deck bloat is here, and it is doing terrible things. Let's leave the healer behind. Check a spike driver in. We'll see if I get more. Uh, let's see, question is, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll let him die, because he's not actually that strong. Okay, there we go. Get the deranged brute. And we'll just descend that guy. I could use the fledgling imp. Just gonna keep leaving the healer there for reasons. Silly reasons. I was hoping I could do more damage to him. It's fine. Okay, and we still have zero armor gain, which blows. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of him. We don't need him at this point. All right, I have that. I guess we'll just do that. We're kind of just killing time. Hoping we can get some more damage and just waiting. Have fun with that thing. Put that there. Uh, do we restore anything? I guess I'll just extinguish that guy. We. I mean, I do seventy-five damage. I should be okay. Let's see. I don't have any other creatures, do I? No, I wouldn't. I guess we'll move this guy up. 
That way he dies. And isn't there to meet shield for Daedalus. It is Daedalus, right? We're, yeah, it is Daedalus. Gotcha. Alright. Ensnare him. Oh, right. We don't have enough s space. I forgot! No, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. So we get... Well, we do get a creature banner. So maybe I could do something. Uh, well, there's the armor. I don't actually like any of these. I want to go for a bull rush deck so bad. Okay, so we're going to go this way. I I have some dumb bad ideas. Oh, I just have multiple spike dr driver colonies. Should have gone the other way. Because I could have, I could have purged two, deleted, uh, uh, purged, multiplied, and some other stuff. Uh, let's see. Multi strike is kind of spooky. Do I hail Mary? No. No, I'm not. I'm not that dumb. The added effects on a single spike driver multiply along with the card. When a new spike driver colony start out as basic cards. They... Ooh. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we got a couple of things. I'm not going to be able to kill the thing for money. Well, I... God, that sucks. We need the bonus damage right now. And the potential tanking. I'm going to put him down. Should be okay. Yeah, so he just dies. Can't get more. Uh, let's see. How many spike drivers do I have now? I got four. So there's my fifth. Alright, and we're good. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Okay, I'm going to ensnare her, and we're going to rage him up. And I don't have a heal, so I can't heal my main line.
I shouldn't have done that, but I need him to survive. At least, there they go. This should be fine. Oh, let's see, we don't need another one of those. I was really hoping my, like, uber heal would go by. Well, not great. Could be better. That's how I would describe this right now. We've got the build for something that we don't have. And that's kind of ass. Right. Let's wipe him out. Go for that for the super rage. And heal him to full. There we go. I really need to purge my deck. I was just really hoping I could get certain other abilities. Like... Somebody had said endless on the uh, endless on the rage imp is amazing, and you know what? Yeah, it would be. Man, what is it, what is it with the internet this specific week? That is just filled with garbage. Uh, sacrifice imp. Quarantine's got people going haywire. Oh yeah, I guess that would that would actually almost make sense having a bunch of uh having a bunch of kids stuck at home with nothing to do. Really bored and just frustrated. Might be the games you're playing. I only doubt that. Hey, there it is. Hef approaches the train, a shivering behemoth of fur. What'd I say, huh? The old man's still got it. Looks like that thing multiplied more than a morsel in an empty mine. So, here, just as promised. Okay. Upgrade your spike driver before using it. Well, now I know. But that's fine. It doesn't matter that much to me. So, do we go for the trinkets? Three trinkets and a purge. Yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go for that. Yeah, they will also still multiply. You were very correct on that one. Let's see, do I even have much for consume? Okay, screw it. We're gonna we're gonna purge a torch. Oh, I should purge the other thing. Alright, it's fine. And we want we want multi-strike. Let's see, did they did that say plus twenty? It is plus 20. These things do a ton of damage. Which means, yeah, if I wanted to, I could straight up just flood a deck with them and just have nothing but them. It's fine. I don't do... It makes them a really interesting meat wall situation. I'm not sure if it's sane, though. If I had upgraded them beforehand to have quick... Or be really hella large. I think that would work best.
Oh, not enough capacity. Dang. I really wanted that cash. I didn't need it, but I wanted it. It's awkward. I guess I'm gonna use Alloy of the Ancients on Kim. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna send one of these guys. There we go. Okay, that didn't work. I refrain from using the spike before you can upgrade it more. I think I'm going to lose, to be honest. Like, I like the idea of the spike, but it's not actually very good for what I'm... for what I need. I think it could work. Okay, we get a brief respite. Which is good. I'm gonna just root a couple of these guys. I mean, at, th at this point, I'm not upgrading these things any further. Even if I wanted to. I... I don't know if I like this run, but... Whatever, we're here, we're doing something. I have pizza in front of me. I think the thing is... I, I said this kind of at the beginning of the run. I needed... Armor, and I got nothing. So I have some things. I mean, I'm scary strong, apparently, which is good. Let's see, are they all gonna die? Oh, they are all gonna die. Cool. But yeah, if I had... If I had had the, uh... If I had actually gotten a good upgrade on the Spike Driver Colony, and I should have, I just wasn't really thinking about what I could even put on them. Nor did I, like, really understand how they were supposed to work. Now I do, and it's like, well... I could have made them stupid, but I need more, like, relics, too, to really make it work. We'll see how this fa functions. Worst comes worst, we just end up with, like, a truly silly amount of spike driver colonies uh, that I just, like, flood the, flood the field with. No, I should do this. I shall put pizza in front of me, and I'm starving. So I want more. Nah. Do I even want the pyre grow? Cycle of life would be interesting. I don't think it would help that much either. I guess I'll grab the pyre grow. Let's let's see what I can do. Cause maybe maybe there's some way that I can make it ridiculous still. Uh let's go for the artifacts. Merchant costs are reduced. I like that. Yeah, the problem is I have too many spike driver colonies at this point to really... Yeah, see, if I'd made them 2117s... 
Because we could also do multi-strike, but they wouldn't live. I Maybe if this, all of the spike driver colonies always shared abilities and remove the useless ones. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Yeah, put him in the back. Sure. I see, that would be overpowered, though. No, that's true. Well, now I know, next time that event shows up, I just, I'm, I'm punching myself a little bit because I have to go with this kind of weird crummy run instead of a good one. All right, let's finish this up. Funny, eh, finish this off because that gets goof. Okay, let's root one of them and let's ascend the other. Okay, that'll work. Let's see. And I will put down one spike driver colony. I guess I'll put this guy here. Because we gotta get rid of the stewards. Oh, in retrospect, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's see. So there's the mu there's the multi-strike one. Let's put him in the back. Let's wait. I'm going to armor him up just because I don't know what we're going to be up against, and that's a little spooky. Okay. Well, we're going to be able to do a whole bunch of damage to the boss. That's a good sign. Let's rage up a bit. What else do we got? Uh... Gosh, if I could kill this thing, we could battering ram the boss for an insane amount of damage. But we can't. Oh yeah, I should have actually put that one in front. Well, learning is fun. I'm going to put the deranged brute down in the back. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put him there. We gotta get rid of those. My deck's already pretty full. Yeah, I was thinking more tactically for the, uh... Well, I guess I'll just hit it with torches whenever my torch spell goes by. Okay, so we get a free restore, which is good. Okay. The midliner will be okay. Give me a send. If if we're lucky, we can get a send. I haven't been feeling particularly lucky here. There it is. Okay. Except for I have no means of getting him up above, do I? Well, that sucks. Root him. I guess we'll just root the both of them. Toss him there. Can't do anything else. Right, I'll work on torching. So yeah, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to remove everything here. Let's see. I don't have enough space to get anything down. Uh, battering ram? No. There we go. Do that. Pyre grow. There's battering ram. Uh, let's see. Do we just... Battering ram. Okay. We will almost be able to kill her. That's kind of all I needed. Gosh, Battering Ram is freaking strong. 
Okay, he's gonna take a bunch of damage. I'm not happy about that. Dude, Fledgling Imp, I'm not gonna be able to get it up, so I'm just gonna draw and Hidden Passage him up. All right, end turn. Yeah, so I might want to give him the armor ability, maybe. Oh. They did live. Well, that sucks. I, I, uh, I don't know. Oh, jeez. I should have been torching that one from the very beginning. It's fine. Okay, we'll get her before she manages to go up. Okay, and she did actually extinguish the one that needed to die. That's good. Uh, let's see, do we want extra energy? No, let's let's go for space. Man, I don't really want any of those. I barely have any rage generation. This run took a very weird left turn, and I'm going to try and make it work, but I doubt I'm going to. Now, do we have two floors left or one? Gosh, what? Nope, it's not. And we don't have any purge either. Damn it. Alright, let's go here. Let's get the pyre health. Let's get the boon. Uh, boons? I don't know. Let's see what we have. Well, this sucks. I'm just gonna try and remove... We've got four more to remove. I'm just gonna have to ignore half of them. But at least we can just st start spitting the ones with multi-hit. multi, multi -hit. Just not even care. Maybe? maybe? No. Ugh. <sighs> I don't like this situation. I don't like very intentional deck bloat. It doesn't feel good. I'll try and make it work. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of these penance things, aren't I? Alright. I, I honestly, to some small and silly degree... I keep waiting for... Uh, that might screw me over a little bit. Uh, I'll make it work. Okay, that that works really well, actually. All right, let's have the fledgling imp in front. He soaks, he soaks hits. He gets the damage. All right, we're good. the drainage fruit in front and I put the colony in front but we actually need the damage okay I'm gonna ascend it uh, this is kind of working. I gotta remember to heal when I get the chance. Alright, surprisingly, we kind of have this. I'm just gonna hit the hit the boss. Like my main guy just scales well enough due to the slay bonus. It's just a matter of like I I really don't think I like these rail driver things, unless I specifically have built built for them. All 
Let's see. Why do I always put my champion on the top? I... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, I usually put my champion on the top. Let's see. Largely because that gives me more time to scale him up. Uh, and more time to kind of abuse some of my guys. All right. Got lucky there. All right. What do we get? Impotent box? I'll grab Impotent box. Now let's grab Restoring Retreat. That might be kind of okay. Uh, but realistically, the best place to put him is kind of in the middle if you have both Retreat and Ascend, because then you can just squash until you have just this, like, murder lane. It can backfire, though. Sometimes. All right. Uh, let's see. Last floor. Grab the coins, which is completely useless to me. Uh, let's see. And what do we do? I guess I'll dupe the enhancer. Okay. Do I want the slay bonus or another multi strike? Probably another multi strike. Okay, so this is awkward. Oh, good. He removes buffs. But then again, we don't have any buffs, really. This is awkward. So we want to spit dudes hard. Maybe. The problem is twofold. We want to spit dudes so they die. Okay. Well, that'll help. Okay, we want to lose those. Who's that? Pyre Goo. Hidden Passage. Okay. Uh. Do I want to move into the back? Because as it stands, I could put one of my tanks in the front. Okay, there we go. something. Uh, I guess I'm going to hold him there. Buff the damage a smidge. Get rid of him. We don't need to restore any health and we don't want to use the other spike driver colony. Okay. Applying the armor. Keep it, keep sticking these guys all over the place. Mainly to get rid of them. Let's see. So the guys on the top are going to go away. My main dude is going to take some damage here, but he gets the slay bonus, which we needed. The armor bonus would have been nice. Remember, level can only have seven units max, no matter the size. Really? I mean, 
As long as I get my kill bonuses and stack up, we should be okay. Alright, let's grab the pirate grow. Stick him there. Yeah, do you actually know that or are you just making that shit up? Because I'll be honest, uh, that doesn't actually sound true. Like, I, I've never actually seen anything that would indicate as such. Okay, I'm just gonna root him so he dies. Enhance or him. That is right. You've seen it on Rhapsody's stream. Okay. Yeah, I think these multi-bots just aren't really worth it. Let's get rid of him. Oh, we don't have enough for a... Okay, let's grab that. We get Battering Ram, which is good. Boss is going to hit four times for a lot of damage. I don't think it's... I don't, I don't think I have enough of these guys. I should have go, given the extra HP, maybe, if I wanted to make this work. That's fine. Let's just see what we got in the next round. Oh, but I can't ascend or descend. I can't squash anything further in here. Well. We got whatever we got. And it honestly ain't enough. Yeah, we lose right at the end. I should have been paying more attention to my tank, but I got nothing. It's fine. This was a weird run. I think I could have made it work had I known how the colonies worked. But the problem is, like, they just lack survivability. So it was kind of just like, well, how do I use them? I guess the trick would be completely ignore your leader. Stack them early? I, uh, eh, 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 it's fine. I, it's like, I think now that I know how that thing works, I'd be able to accurately choose, like, whether or not it was a good idea, but in that situation, I was just lost, and then I made it work as well as I could possibly make it work, but no better. Maybe if I had some better minion boosting uh, relics as well, but I didn't really have those. The plus five armored all units gave them a hell of a lot of survivability, but not enough to face the boss, because he would have just chewed through them with four attacks, ten damage each. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's the unfortunate learning curve of new thing, where the game's just punishing enough that if, like, any deviancy from, any deviation, not deviancy, deviation from, like, the meta or like a good build and suddenly you're kind of up shit creek and it's like well it's fine we did surprisingly well given given that i was running with like a weird weird problem but all things considered i don't know i i'm proud of myself for making it there but it's also like oh that run could have been amazing but it wasn't and that's okay i like the run history that's cool but at this point, I'm going to take a break and probably wait on this game until it comes out on Early Access, whenever that's going to be. And if it comes out on Early Access at the end of this week, then, oh boy, I'm probably going to just delete all my crap runs, keep all my good runs, and then spit out the spit out new episodes with the non-beta footage. We'll see how that goes.